Hey heroes, Isaac Zephyr here, and I'm just putting together a spawning pad. By the time uh, this video goes up, uh, what this is for will already have been out, but I wanted to do the redstone rev uh, review video now before I poured all this stuff into a blank world. I made a mini game. I got bored, decided I wanted to do it. As like I said, it'll already be out by the time this video hits out, but I'm going to discuss some of the redstone in it. Alright, we can put this down for a second. So what this here is, is, uh, like I said, it'll already be out by the time, but this is my rock, paper, scissors mini game, or at least the bare bones skeleton of it. Alright, so what goes on is, uh, you'll have seen this from my video with Never Nights, but, uh, player, the red player selects one, so we're gonna go with rock, and the blue player will select one, so in this one, I'm gonna have the blue player go with paper just so that he loses, or no, red loses. And what happens is the signal for red will be activated. Oh, it's, it's... All right. And it'll have the appropriate end that I decide to put in at the time. But yeah, the entire thing uh, consists of multiple circuits. We've just got a normal, uh, I enjoy still this selector panel that uh, Etho made. I do still enjoy that one. Um, we have its selector on the top going three different separate signals, one for option A, B, and C. As you can see, they're all locked right now, because what happens is when a player selects one of the options, so paper in this case, we can follow the paper line, which is turned off and inverted this signal, and it gets locked here. Now, that's the first part of the signal. The second part would come when an option is selected on side B. Whoop. Shite. And that could need a manual reset. Yeah, I need a manual reset. Whoops. Alright. Anyway. So what happens is it remains locked until player 2 makes a selection. When they do, uh, both signals power a separate one. I have to reactivate this line again. Each signal activates this AND gate, so it will not turn this line here off until both turn off, at which point this one... Uh, sorry. Once these two are on, this line here connects to each of these with a delay of four, so that uh, this one has time to turn off and on, otherwise it winds up getting locked and just not fun. As well as this, one, this line also throws down to the reset lines right here, which will reset the selector panel once we are done. So I can throw an example of that up here by just popping over to the blue side, and even if I just select the same one, we'll see it go through, it'll decide who won, and then a reset line will reset it both. So that's how I made the game renewable, It's just through that reset line there. So it won't remain locked on any one particular decision. Either way, whichever selection you make is tied to uh, one of these little segments here. And each segment corresponds to a red one and a blue one. So this one here, you can see it comes from the red one. This is the redstone torch. Now the side with the redstone torch is the winning side, and the side with this repeater is the losing side. It works on the same kind of principle as a signal length detector, except in this case we're determining whether you won or you lost. Oh no, it's the way around. If the repeater's on, you're safe from losing. So what ends up happening is if this line was selected, so this one was the paper line, if the paper line was selected, then this will remain on, even if your opponent selected or if your opponent selects the rock segment. So this line activates, which turns off this torch once the signal is released. We'll turn off this torch at the same time that this one would go on. So there is a brief moment of signal, but uh, due to a pulse length detector up there, the game or uh, the actual game will not detect it. So your selection, if it is the winning selection, will continue its pulse. For, will uh, turn off this line here. Yeah, which will in turn once these are, uh, turn on one of the torches of your appropriate selection. So all three selections lead to the same line in the end. Yeah. 
but it's a matter of down here, the decision is made of who won, and up here, it that lets that signal go through. If you choose the same option, due to these signal length detectors, the game will not end, it will not kill either player. Uh, additionally, I plan to put some scoreboard stuff in here as well, but for now, this is the main one. But the winning line will have this moment turn off, which will allow these repeaters to power due to the signal length detector, which will then kill the opposing player. But yeah, that's all the uh, circuitry. I'm leaving not only a link to the actual game itself, uh, but the link to just my creative world again with the, the updates, so you can look at all of my other farming stuff I've done over the time, as well as uh, pick this apart and uh, use its separate circuits for yourself. The one main one that I had a problem with was this one here, and this was mostly the reason I'm making this video. It's an OR gate, but it's a different type of OR gate. Rather than being yeah, like a normal OR gate where either one will turn off the selection, in this case, only one of them may be on, otherwise they are both on. So if I turn this one off, you'll notice the red light goes off, but if I turn this one on, the red light turns uh, back on. And same with vice versa, if I just have the red one on, the blue one is off. Now they could both be linked to the same lamp, so unless one of them is off, uh, neither one will run, as I did up there. If both of them are on, neither one runs. But how that's done is through that uh, repeater uh, torch bit I explained. Now, I believe I left a line on on the red side. Yeah, if we leave a line on, you can see up here, I've got that same circuit built attached to the pulse length detectors, because like I said, there is a brief moment where they are both off twice. And if I pick paper on the same side again, you'll notice that they swap, and then they swap back. So which prevents either one of them from being off long enough to activate the system, which implies the tie. So, no, if they both select the same, neither signal turns off, therefore both lights remain on, and both players remain active. But as I said, if one powers over the other, through our segments there, which determine who wins, then their light turns off, they are the loser in this case. So yes. Uh, that's how that works. I'm going to go back to building this spawning platform so that I can make the world downloadable and teleport everyone to the appropriate place. I'm also going to be building a, uh, what do you call it, a uh, room, so if you have three or four players going on, I can't imagine anyone would. This would be more of a two-player intended game, you know, play with your friend. But if, you know, you wanted to have a rock-paper-scissors tournament, because apparently they're, thi they're a thing, you can go through and uh, have everyone waiting in a room and see who wins in the end. But yeah. Anyway, this is Isaac Zephyr, signing out. I uh, hope you all enjoy the game, and I'll see you all later, else.